time right now to live in the South. Uh, probably the second weirdest time historically. <laughs> you know, weird time for the country. You know, every day I read the news, I'm like, well, I guess I'm not going to be happy today. <laughs> I should have known no better. It's my fault. You know? Every time I read the news, I think, what idiot grabbed the monkey's paw and wished to be smarter than the president? <laughs> Stop being so critical. And it was this advice that came through in a very scientific way, like two paragraphs in there, like, well, there's this evolutionary reason we're so critical, and I stopped reading right now. <laughs> You're telling me the reason I'm so dumb is because I'm so smart? <laughs> that sounds like me. Alright, chat. That's good. Uh, you can probably guess from my energy. My biggest influence is Chris Rock. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you guys took one look at me and said, I bet this dude owns a Spider-Man costume. <laughs> You're damn right I do. I put it on, I feel amazing. I think that's what life is about. You gotta find your Spider-Man costume. <laughs> this is a really good metaphor. Right. I'm killing it. I had a date the other night with an adult human. <laughs> Female woman, thank you. <laughs> and to my surprise, she came home with me against all odds. And <laughs> I found out I had to very quickly hide my Spider Man costume. <laughs> I have never felt more like Peter Parker <laughs> in my entire life. See, that's what life's really about. You gotta find it, then you gotta hide that. You gotta, don't tell anyone it's weird, it's gonna make people uncomfortable. You understand? Yeah. So, uh, there's this thing, you know, you can probably also, I, I, I'm assuming you're a very observant crowd. I grew up with a disability. I was born in South Carolina. <laughs> yeah, that, that'll set you back, folks. Uh, <laughs> Anyone else here from the Hootie and the Bloodfish State? All right. All right. All right. All right. You can take the boy out of South Carolina, but you can't take the Hootie CD out of his Toyota Tercel. <laughs> it's stuck in there pretty good. <laughs> I live in Atlanta now. It's fantastic. Uh, the weirdest part about living in Atlanta, you know, for me, is the sheer number of people that Ludacris and I have slept with. <laughs> Every day, you know? <laughs> yeah, I'm a deaf jam comic. <laughs> when I get home, I'm definitely gonna jam to some Chris Rock. <laughs> Christian Rock, yeah, you got it. <laughs> From before. <laughs> Sweet, someone's paying attention. Does <laughs> uh, anyone here ever get social anxiety? <laughs> Not the person who whistled. For me. <laughs> it's, it's too much. I just like to take a poll, you know. To let you guys know I'm better than you. I uh, conquer my fears up here. I. <laughs> when I said I had a disability, how many of you were like autism? <laughs> And then I said South Carolina, and you're like, well, at least Asperger's. <laughs> Dude's on the spectrum. <laughs> um, I don't know, this is a pretty good show. The other night I had a weird one. Uh, this dude came up to me and my friend after the show and just stuck around. My buddy's really polite, and he's like, hey man, saw you throwing darts in there, good stuff. <laughs> That's all it took to open this guy up and invite us into his world, <laughs> which we didn't ask to be a part of. And he's like, yeah, I've been throwing darts since I was about 12 years old, been in the BDSM the past 10 years. <laughs>
be like, hey, good job on the pool table. Do you like wearing diapers on the weekends? <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that. But if anyone here, anyone in here, you have a weird fetish, please tell me. <laughs> For my next show. I, I don't know, I'm thankful I don't, you know, have a weird kink. You know, I think it's probably really hard to talk to someone about how do you how do you get close enough to admit that thing? Like, oh, now I figured out, oh, my uh, my fetish must be intimacy. <laughs> it, it's so hard to talk to people, you know. People. All right, before I get started telling jokes. <laughs> Do we have any prayer requests? <laughs> I think whatever preacher pastor came up with that is for prayer material that day. He said, you know what, let's go into the crowd <laughs> and wing it. <laughs> Hell, let's just gossip for an hour. <laughs> in your life. Let's go. <laughs> That's my dream. <laughs> Judging people uh, in public. You know. That's good. Uh, right. Good. Gotta get out of here soon. Um, I want to share some important stuff with you. One, I think that farts are just a secret that your body has to share. Alright. Okay. <laughs> That's not important. Like, you're right. <laughs> yeah, my ass is a real chamber of secrets. Anyway, <laughs> No. So before we go, I I don't know if anyone's ever put any thought into this but me, but do you think do you think do you think the great white shark is the only animal that sounds like it named itself? <laughs> Unless, of course, you count the big dick talk. <laughs> <laughs> I really didn't think of that. 